Hey YouTube, I'm here to talk about something that I want to apologize for. Can you believe I am apologizing? Now, as y'all know, I'm from Baltimore. I'm the only girl and the youngest out of five boys. So I always felt protected. If I get a flat tire and I make one phone call, by the time I hang up that phone, three, four guys showing up. So that was always me. And then just being a tomboy. As a little girl, I was a tomboy. I was rough, always fight. I was just tough by nature. When I see this tweet, which I always see it on my timeline, and I get so annoyed by it, like, what do they mean? And I said I was gonna do a video on it and as I was doing a video the common sense that God gave me I heard something say you are you and it's so many other black women out here that think otherwise so I had to sit and I had to think right Kari Hilson tweet me as black women we are protectors of our children we are protectors of our black men we're protectors by nature but who's gonna protect us and when I just stared at that tweet as I was making this video I thought about when I was a little girl, my mother was in an abusive relationship. She called the cops. It was a black and white cop. And the black cop came in and he said to my mother, if you call us again, I'm going to blacken your other eye. Why I was standing there next to my mother and I was every bit of seven, eight years old. My first experience ever with the police. I will never forget that. The white police started laughing and they walked out. That was the beginning of my hatred for police. The experiences that I've had, the things that I've seen, I have a strong dislike for cops. That's just how I feel from my experiences. All the things that y'all are seeing on social media now, I've seen it all my life. So as I was getting ready to go on this whole rant, like, what y'all mean? Who's going to protect the black women? I don't know if it was God, but he took me back to that very moment. And that was a moment where neither one of us was protected. I just want to say I apologize. I apologize to all the black women who tweeted that tweet or who says that and I get offended because I'm just being selfish to look at my situation and to look at how I feel and the tough person that I am, the tough skin that I walk around with. And having that sense of security, I know that I can call any of my brothers and they'll be there. I know I can call my significant other and he'll be there. So I was looking at it from my point of view and I wanna say I apologize. I apologize to all the black women out there who feel this way and I wasn't thinking of y'all thoughts. I apologize to all the black girls in foster care that feel like they don't have anybody to protect them. I apologize to all the single mothers out there. I apologize to all the vulnerable women out there who just so weak and just don't know how to handle situations and don't know where to get their strength from. I apologize and I understand what Carrie Hilson was saying. In that moment when I tweeted this tweet, I didn't understand. I was looking at it my point of view. But as I start to do this video I'm like well damn she have a point we're strong women we're here to protect our kids the men in our life our parents we're so strong you have polices they're here to protect the white community always have been but they're not here to protect the black community or the minorities so I understand and I want to say I apologize and what I can say right now to all the young girls who may be watching who have three four five year old daughters and all the parents that just have young girls period but women ladies protect your daughters tell them you love them hug them talk to them it's a reason why they walking around here sassy it's a reason why they walking around here angry it's a reason why they walking around here feeling unprotected Protected. Talk to them. I just want to say, black women, again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being inconsiderate. I'm sorry for always looking at my situation. When I look at these tweets and I get so frustrated because I'm putting myself in this situation and I'm feeling like every black woman should be strong like me and tough like me and don't let nothing get to them like me, I am sorry. But what I will say, we may never find the answer to who's going to protect black women. But I will say this. We should protect each other other black women because we're not even going to get into how we tear each other down. We're not even going to talk about that. Let's start building each other up. Let's start protecting each other. We can protect each other. We can love on each other. We can support each other. Black women, let's start motivating each other. Black women, it's like we are so hard on each other. Let's start supporting each other. If we start looking out and protecting each other, then what? 
Come on, we can do this, ladies. We can do this. Stop hating on each other. We all have the same 24 hours. We all can go back to school, get a college degree, open a business, become something. Stop chasing these dudes and start focusing on yourself. Stop hating on the next person. I want to end it with this, ladies. If I can give y'all any advice, whatever state you live in, start researching how to obtain a gun license for that state. And that's all I can say. Get a gun license obtain a gun and have that as your protection and let's stop hating each other let's stop beating each other down let's start uplifting each other encouraging each other we can do it fuck what america taught us let's get in a different mind state we have to stop black people you can't get nowhere by doing that you're stomping your own growth you're stomping your own blessings you're stomping your own success so first things first let's get out of that mindset and let's start uplifting each other so ladies tell me in the comments down below do you feel like as black women we are not protected what are your thoughts on a topic i would love to hear what you guys think down below until next time youtube peace